When we've got fraction patterns, we need to notice the pattern. So we look a little closely at it. In this case, I've got four fractions and I want to know what the next three numbers are. So what's the same about each of my numbers? Well, they're fractions, so they've got numerators and denominators. And the denominator, the number at the bottom, is the same for each of them. In each of those fractions, we've got eighths. So let's draw a little grid with eight pieces. Now, what's changing from one number to the next as we move from left to right? We've got a numerator of seven, so we've got seven eighths. So that's shaded there. Then it goes to six eighths, then five eighths, then four eighths. So what we see is the numerator is decreasing by one each time and the fractions decreasing by one eighth. So since we're still working with eighths, we actually don't need to change the denominator. We just subtract one from the numerator. So we've still got eighths, but we've got four minus one, which is three eighths. And then what we're going to do is actually take that away because now we can imagine what we're doing. Let's work it out just by looking at the numerator. We've got eighths. Three minus one means the next number would be two eighths. And then two minus one means the last number is one eighth. So there's our number pattern that we've completed. We were decreasing by one eighth each time or the numerator was reducing by one each time because remember the denominator stayed the same. Now I want you to make my pattern. I'm there on the left hand side and you're over on the right hand side. So can you work out my number pattern? Sure, ready when you are. So here come the clues and it's top secret. So I've put a little dividing line there so you can't see. So just imagine that's you on the right hand side. Now I want you to start on the left with one ninth. Yeah, right, that's good, got that. And then I want you to add two ninths. Aha, so you've worked out that we're working with ninths. So that means the denominator is going to be nine. And now you need to add two more to the numerator or the number at the top. One plus two is three. So our next number is three ninths. See, we're working with nine, so we only really need to think about the numerator. Right, what's next? Ah, you've just remembered, when we're writing numbers in the sequence like that, we need a comma between them. Because some people might write their numbers really closely together and we might think it's 13 over 99. So don't forget your comma. Now, it's good that you noticed it though. Add another two ninths. Now remember, we're dealing with ninths, so we need to add two to the numerator. Three plus two is five, but the denominator doesn't change. Five ninths. Now we've got a comma again, and now I want you to add two ninths twice more. So that means we need two more numbers in our series. So I love to see that, I think I've got this. So we've got five plus two makes seven ninths, and then two more ninths, or two more on the numerator, seven plus two is nine ninths. Now nine ninths is actually one, but if you're writing a number pattern, you probably leave it like that unless you were asked not to. So there we go. Is that it? Let's check your numbers again. Ah, that is it. There's no more numbers, so you won't need the comma at the end. So when it's the end, we don't need a comma and we don't need a full stop because it's not a sentence with words. Now the big reveal. Let's have a look and see how you went. You're feeling confident? One ninth, three ninths, five ninths, seven ninths and nine ninths. Spot on. Well done.